last uh, 15 years, we received so many of different kind of wedding birthday cakes and wedding cakes. It's sometimes we don't even imagine how it is how it is to be done. Once we have the order, when we receive the order, we have to start thinking about it. How what we're gonna do? So the the in this in this uh, work is we have to think like. Uh, Sometimes we have to think like engineers, sometimes we have to think like carpenters, sometimes we have to think like a, a, a different kind of professions. So, uh, like that, sometimes we have to be musicians, sometimes we have to be uh, an artist, or I don't know, just have to combine all those, all those bits and pieces to achieve a cake that uh, not only just eaten and, and then memorize the taste, it also memorize the how it looks like. I'd like to uh, demonstrate today uh, one of the cake that which is uh, it's going to serve uh, to a person who is really like saxophones. So, uh, of course, we always do uh, refer to a kind of information that we can really rely on the realization and then also proportions, etc. So, what, what we do is, of course, the Google is the, is the best source of, of information. Type in saxophone and then we have hundreds of pictures. And then also we have a choice of which one would be possible to turn it into a a cake. So yesterday I was searching for saxophone. I, I found tens of hundreds of pictures, and and I have to think uh, which one would be suitable that I can really simply uh, look at it and then understand the simplicity and then turn this one to a cake or to a sugar piece which comes on top of the cake. So I'm going to make exactly this in this size, the sugar piece, and I also. Have another picture which is the a basic saxophone which i like to follow the the details of this but shape of this my first aim is starting from here starting from here turn like this and then finish there what i'm having here it's called pastillage pastillage is basically the mixture of uh, icing sugar gelatin glucose even that i just needed this dough i have to knead again to get the smoothness what i'm going to do now i'll just cut this one into that particle area that i can add the other one on top of it and this one is in in the, here I will also uh, cut this piece to use it as a mold, this part, because I like this, this turn. I'm going to use this stick inside here uh, to push it for a support. There's a little cracks appear already, but it doesn't matter because we're going to put so many things on top of it, it won't be very nice. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave this one for a while bit more hard than before I put it here and I'm gonna work on this piece. That was the most challenging part. The next step is to produce all those little parts. That one has to go here. How do I glue it? I just use the chocolate. I always melt the chocolate here, just touch here. And, uh, and put it here. So next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to do all those little round buttons. So what I will do now, I, I already made the, the main body 
and then the, the buttons. And I have to look at now individual little details and just go one by one and edit on. I haven't seen these designs on the picture, but I have seen that in the sometime in the past on a saxophone there is some uh, nice little sort of like uh, ornamental uh, lines on it. So I just want to uh, sort of imitate that one a little bit. Okay, so I take a little bit of chocolate and then pipe here some sort of like nice curvy stuff. Very small. We have a little bit of uh, airbrushing and spraying sort of like working box. I'm going to make the whole saxophone in gold. That part is, uh, is the edible gold with alcohol. So when I, it makes me able to spray it because alcohol is very liquid, so I can, I can spray it. But this part I'm using with oil. So because oil is nice for brushing, alcohol is good for spraying. Okay, what we're doing now is a, a, a classic frangipani flowers. So I take the dough, uh, the, this is called flower paste. Once I do that, then I take some egg white. This time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, the green icing to do the leaves for that uh, frangipanis. As we all know that every flower has got different shape of leaves. So frangipani leaves is a bit longish and there's some straight lines on it. So to achieve that texture, I use uh, a palm leftovers that I find in my garden. So it's got the perfect texture and I get this, uh, the straight lines on the leaf. Then I would uh, make the uh, rectangular chocolate mud cake and then place the cake, uh, place the sugar piece on top of this cake and then become sort of like a, a wow effect. So we call this a centerpiece on the cake. Now, this is the cake that we're going to use the uh, saxophone on top. That cake is roughly a must, we call this masking, uh, putting cream on the cake. And uh, I will do it one more time because we have to always do it twice. One time is rough, second time is more better. That is ready to ice. Okay, next stage is uh, after the cake is masked, we call this masking. Uh, I will cover this cake with this uh, sugar dough, which we call it uh, rolling fonda. Hopefully it's right. Yes. Ready to go. Now, next thing we're gonna do, we take this cake and we put all these decorations we prepared before and finish off with the uh, happy birthday the name on top of it. Next thing we do, we're gonna put a nice uh, hot pink ribbon, which is customer has already requested, this color. The ribbon is on, on the cake, and now we're gonna put the decorations on the cake. So at this very moment, we need to get a little bit of imagination. So we have to look at how many components comes on the cake. We have a centerpiece, uh, it has to come on this corner, and then we have a bit of uh, flowers here, and maybe a small extension here. Then we have a writing on this corner. So we can't just keep on fiddling with on the cake, so we have to decide where, where is coming what, and then, and then after that follow this one by one. So I'm gonna take this saxophone, put it here. If I take this heavy piece, put it in here, when the cake gets softer, the centerpiece will tumble. So I have to make a little bit of chocolate here to stick it on it and it have a hard base.
when I'm arranging flowers, actually, if it's possible, I place them first before you glue it to make the arrangements properly. Now we can glue them. Uh, dipping in a little bit of white chocolate. Now I use a little bit of uh, royal icing, which is the egg white and icing sugar mixture. So I'm just going to make some uh, piping for finishing touches. Next thing we do, uh, put a little bit of airbrush in the middle. So I have a hot pink liquid food coloring inside here. If I press this, the air comes out. If I pull it back, the paint comes out. So I go in the middle, just press the air, and then pull a little bit, and then go backwards. Now. I'm going to write the last bit on the cake, the message, happy birthday, something, something. This is like uh, taking off with the airplane. So because I'm writing on the cake, I can't allow myself to make mistake. So you have to take off and land this plane. So I just have to cut this one a little bit here, quite a thin, and try somewhere else, which doesn't work, cut a little bit more. Ready to go. Happy 40th birthday, Donna. <laughs>